Down in Mississippi, there lived a man who got his education from a garbage can. He got a lot of grudges and he got a lot of hates and they put him in the Congress of the United States. Shame on Congress. Well, he went up to Congress and there he sits and he raves and he foams and he sputters and he spits, runs around like a dog that's got the fits, biting people, scaring them. What do you do with a dog that's lost his wits? Cut his head off, send it to the Board of Health, have it looked into. Well, he writes a lot of letters and he writes a lot of notes. He's good to the people that have got the votes, but if you live up, say, in New York State, he'll send you a letter that's full of hate, or anywhere above the Mason-Dixon line, he'll reach down inside his dirty mind, call you Dago, Kike, Red. Well, blood is red, and a lot of it was shed to win the war on the other side. A lot of fascists turned up their toes and died, but he didn't, he's still around. Well, he hates the Negroes, and he hates the Jews, and he hates the good people who pay union dues. He'd like to put the Constitution on the shelf and run the country to suit himself. No FEPC, no unions, no country. Well, I haven't mentioned this gentleman's name, for when I use dirty words, I feel ashamed, but I'll tell you. The first letter of his name stands for blustering, bald dash, and just plain bull. Second letter stands for ill-tempered, ill-mannered, and illiterate. The third letter stands for lousy, legislative, lying, lunkhead. The next letter stands for still more bull. And the last letter stands for odoriferous, ornery, and obituary, which is long overdue.